Hello everyone, in this video we're going to look at the new features and changes that Microsoft has been working on in build 21.382. As always, these changes are available through the dev channel and while they are not tied to any specific release of Windows, they are expected to arrive with version 21H2 when it ships during the second half of 2021. Okay, let's have a closer look at the new features and changes available on this flight. On build 21.382, Windows 10 adds a new feature that allows creative and artistic apps like Photoshop that use the ICC color profiles to render accurate colors and access the full gamut of an HDR capable display. If you have Photoshop or a similar application, you can enable this option by right clicking the icon of the app and then go into the properties option. And then on the compatibility tab, you will check this new option called use legacy display ICC color management and then just simply click OK to enable it. Then only when HDR mode is enabled on the device, you will see this new feature taking effect on the computer. This flight also includes an updated version of the device manager console. And while there are not new visual changes on the view menu, you will find three new options to organize the elements. And those options are the device by driver, the driver by type and drivers by device. In addition, inside of the action menu, you will now find a new add drivers option that will allow you to install drivers across all applicable devices. As part of the uh, File Explorer improvements, this update introduces a new icon that will indicate that a folder has content. So this is a traditional icon and this is a new one and this is what you will see if inside of the folder you have more folders and other files. Since my last inside of video, the company also made available build 21376 that introduces a new Sego UI variable font with a design that makes it possible to scale the font without issues from a small to larger display size. Microsoft is also planning to make this font the new default for Windows 10, but it will take time until it's fully implemented. Finally, recently, Microsoft also released the Windows 10 Build 2137, which did not include new visual changes, but since that release, Windows 10 includes the Advanced Audio Coding or AAC support over Bluetooth. This only means that with the new Lossy Codec Edition, you will be able to choose from a broader range of Bluetooth headphones and speakers for better audio listening. And that's pretty much all that's new with Windows 10 Build 21382, Build 21376, and Windows 10 Build 21370. Remember to like the video, leave your comments, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet, and I just hope this video was informative for you, and I would like to thank you for viewing.